Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be cooking chicken ghee rose for you guys, which is, to be honest, one of the best thing that has happened to this world. It's got that perfect spice to it. It goes really well with neer dosa or any dosas. So this is my recipe for the chicken ghee rose. So here we go. So let's go through a few ingredients. I've taken 500 grams of chicken. I've taken cloves. I know there's a lot of them on the video, but I will just use a few of them. Then coriander seeds, black pepper corns, guntur red chili, and then biad ghee red chili with ginger garlic paste, curd, ghee, salt, and one egg. We'll start off with the marination now. I'm gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt to our chicken. And then one egg, about two spoons of ginger garlic paste, a few dashes of paprika powder, and a few dashes of cayenne pepper, and then I'll add about three spoons of all purpose flour or maida. and two spoons of corn flour and then I'll go ahead and mix it up all together and it should end up looking something like this once the chicken is marinated for minimum of two hours we're gonna go ahead and take a pan and fill some oil in it and start heating it once the oil is well heated, we're going to add the chickens to it. Please make sure that you don't overcrowd the pan. And then I'll go ahead and take another pan to fry all the garam masalas that I have. And I'll not be using any oil to it. I'll be dry roasting them. Once the pan is hot, I'm going to go ahead and add the chilies that we have. I've taken about 5 Biadge chilies. And I'm taking 7 Guntur chilies. And look how shamelessly I'm taking out the stems right now in the video and throwing it off because I forgot to remove it previously. And then I'll take our tablespoon of coriander seeds and add it to the pan. Please make sure that you keep the pan on a low flame. And I used about four cloves, another pinch of black pepper corns. Once they've roasted completely for about two to three minutes, I'm going to add it to a blender. To which I'll include a cup of curd. Blend it to a fine paste and it should look something like this. And also keep a close eye on the chicken. I've cooked it for about five to six minutes on a medium flame. Once the chicken and the masala is ready, I'm gonna take a pan and add some ghee to it. I'm adding about two to three spoons here. Once the ghee turns piping hot, I'm going to go ahead and add the onions. And then go ahead with our ginger garlic paste. Then 
you guys need to make sure that you get a good caramelization on the onions and then I'll go ahead and add the curry leaves. This will really bring out the flavor of the ghee roast and it's just amazing. And please be careful when you put the curry leaves because afterwards the oil starts popping a little. Once everything is cooked, I'll add the masala. Make sure you cook the masala for about 2-3 to three minutes and then I'll go ahead and add the salt. And finally, I'll be adding our chicken to our masala. Mix the chicken really well and then all you need to do is squeeze half a lemon and that's it guys. This is my take on chicken ghee roast. And it's time for tasting now and then here we go. And this did turn out insanely good and my family went totally crazy over it and finished the pile in a couple of minutes. Please leave a like on this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.